I am Doinkus. I run a, uh, a very successful channel with 34 subscribers on YouTube. I am a ultra far right nationalist, and uh, my the main the main uh, core of my ideology remains to be that I, I want the uh, preservation of humanity as a whole, but also my uh, my own groups within that categorization. But I, I, I'm very anti-libertarian. I think it's for cowards. I think anyone who's an individualist just doesn't want to deal with the hassle of actually enforcing a strict society. And I think, I think they're, it's either that or they're sick themselves and don't want to be judged. But that is the uh, core of my conservative beliefs, which I, I wouldn't even call conservative since I'm not uh, pro-American at all. Damn. But yeah, you can, uh, uh, you can go on. <clears throat> Well, for me personally, I don't subscribe to 100% of libertarianism, probably as you don't subscribe to 100% whatever your main ideology is. Um, but I would say a good 80%, 70% of what I believe in is libertarian, and the remaining should probably be put into like some sort of Republican category. Do your own work. Work on yourself. Don't try to help others before yourself. That's stupid. And that's that. Uh, All right. I... First objection to that is it's what the founding fathers wanted. Well, I don't yeah. know if you knew, but uh, homosexuals were still penalized uh, during the early colonial days and even after that. Yeah. Uh, druggies. Well, I, not druggies. That was in the uh, 1900s. But none of the things I'm against, except for the uh, free speech parts and some of the voting rights. But other than that, I, I'm for the Constitution. Second Amendment, got to have that. Keep the gay government in check. But I'm not I'm not opposed to a sense of individualism. I'm just yeah. for a sense of collectivism. If we cannot all go under the same societal identity, we won't work as a society. We have numerous splits throughout the country, just completely opposed splits in morals and beliefs because of how insanely diversified our population is. If we want a functional society, we cannot allow degeneracy. I have a question. So you said that about like marijuana use and other drug use. My main thing is how do you feel about alcohol and tobacco? Like does I that fall in the same category well. or no? Huh? I think that alcohol should only be acceptable in a ceremonial usage. I, I don't think you can completely ban alcohol. You, you, I mean, you can. You can ban hard liquor, but I think things like wine should still be acceptable since a lot of people aren't going to be drinking themselves to death on wine. Or very low alcohol content things. With tobacco, it's purely predatory. The entire system, like the, the companies that sell tobacco, they know what they're doing. They're exploiting people who are dependent on it. They are chemically dependent on having that tobacco fix or else they'll get irritable. They'll have some small form of withdrawal from it. It's, it's exploiting an, a huge uh, population within America. Like 23% of people smoke, I believe. Yeah, one of them used to be on my dad, but then he quit, so... It's given them billions of dollars, and I don't think that they should, uh... <clears throat> I don't think they should be able to have a predatory business like that. I mean, I kind of get where you're coming from, but we saw what happened when there was prohibition. When we did that, what happened was people found black market ways to, you know, access alcohol, and actually, they received harder alcohol, because it was either easier to create and transport, and... Then people were actually like, you know, ease, like more commonly people were suffering from like alcohol poisoning and, you know, strokes and a bunch of other issues because of it. So like, you know, it obviously it might be the same thing with all this other. Wait, what was that? It worked on a large scale and people drinking themselves to death. Typically, the people who are alcoholics aren't the people I'd like. But anyways, prohibition did work. People who didn't want to get in trouble with the law or want the risk didn't drink and we're talking 1910s to 2020s now we have the be way better surveillance technology than now if, the, if it was as large of a scale of alcohol use as it was in the prohibition days a lot of it would be busted immediately we have that better police force against it well, they but would how expensive personal small uh use of it even then, with but, any law like that, the reason it didn't work out is because they didn't push for it societally. You have to get a societal narrative before you completely administer a new authoritative law or policy. I mean, that's a fair statement, but 
how expensive do you think it would be to enforce this new law? Which you know, it, it would probably be. Been... Uh, it wouldn't be as expensive as what goes into the DEA already, because the DEA has. I mean, we're talking cartels to a few new personal. May I? I wouldn't even say it would be a huge uh, crime syndicate. It'd just be people selling alcohol. There isn't a huge market for it in America anymore. A lot of the crime problems we have, uh, excluding California because they are cancer, but a lot of the crime problems we have on a large scale are all from other countries. I'm I'm, uh, anti-corporationist because they're predatory. They want to see our demise, so they get billions of dollars. Oh my god. Their okay. wealth is stemming from our uh degradation. Damn. Okay, like cuz now I'm really lost. Like I I heard what you were saying, but like part of me agrees with the libertarian like well it's their choice to consume those products, but then the other parts just like well those corporations are assholes. So now I'm like in the middle. I've no I am very confused. It's like Props it's like giving you. The entire, the entire thing of individualism, let people do what they want. It's the effect of allowing your child to get in with a, like, get into a box of matches. While the only person, well, not a box of matches, that's, that's a dumb, dumb thing, but like, touching glass or nails. Just because it's stupid, and, you know, they might learn from it, it really is the fault of the parent, because they're allowing the nails to be out in the first place. Even well, though they'll learn not to touch nails, they'll still get a cut in the process. Well, to be fair, that's a child that doesn't know any better. It's under the jurisdiction of its parents. A citizen, the a citizen of the, of the United States know. can't grow up and then not be under citizenship because they're too old, because they know enough. The government isn't a caretaker. It is the government. Your, the entire point of a government friend. is a caretaker. It's too... The, the point of the government is to maintain a proper society. It's why we have any system of governance within the world. It's so that we have a functioning and proper society that can continue on with the human race. And what would that functioning that is, society look like to you? Uh, to me, it would be anti-degenerate. It'd be wealth. It'd be fit. No drugs, no dependence on alcohol, no dependence on pornography, which is another way they exploit you, except that time it's free. But none of that. It would have no predatory corporations that are getting billions of dollars from your suffering. It would well, have a well, uh, and a well balanced society that is culturally monogamous on the core values. Well, wouldn't we all like to well, live in Pleasantville? But that is in our reality. We live in a it's country. Our reality because we've let it become individualistic. It would be our reality if we stepped in and said, "Hey, maybe these corporations funneling down grease and saturated fats down our throats, or maybe these uh, horrible predatory tobacco companies giving us lung cancer. Maybe if we stop these, our society will be better. Or maybe if we didn't allow for the uh, sexual liberalization of women, we would have better caretakers, better mothers, a better population. These people wouldn't be lost with how their bonding is. Like that's, that's the effects of casual sex. When you have intercourse with somebody, it is the uh, chemical within women that gets released is uh, oxycotton, which is a very strong chemically bonding drug. And that bond is literally created towards that person. But when you have it with multiple people, that bond is ruined. That ability for a bond is completely destroyed. You are not able to have a successful relationship. It's, it's the same things to the effect of pornography. It's why uh, pornography is a large cause for marital problems or divorce. Holy shit, he's turning me Republican. Oh my god. I'm not a Republican. I'm a Republican. What are you? What are you? I think that, I, I'm not I'm not for the modern day political system. I think that it should be uh I think it should be gone away with. I think we need a better population. Okay. I'm sorry. Like, I'm that's gonna... why I'm against democracy. It's the uh, it's the age old uh parable from Socrates. If like if, if you were uh managing a ship like if you were picking out the crew that you would have for your ship, and let's say that if you're an idiot in the uh, watching the stream, the ship is representative of the country. The people that are maintaining the ship, which would be the Democratic voters, you don't want a bunch of idiots. You don't want the majority of the population of America to be running the ship. You want the smartest, the best, the most inclined people who are by nature 
Uh, they know more about ships. They know how a ship runs. They are more intelligent with it. You want them running the ship. You don't want a bunch of random idiots. 